I've had the griddle preheating on medium now for quite some time, and we're gonna go ahead and make some chicken fajitas. And I'm sorry it's windy, so that camera might shake a little bit. It's, it's, it's all kinds of windy right now. Let me go ahead and add a little canola oil to start this thing off. And we're just gonna go ahead and add some uh, bell pepper, uh, red bell pepper, two poblano peppers. And I took the seeds out of one of them and left the seeds in one. Just stir that around. <laughs> Woo! Kind of get that pepper coming up at me. Go ahead and add a little onion. Yeah, look at that. Mix it up here. Now behind me here is the 21 inch griddle that I usually use. And uh, that's the one I purchased myself. And someone gave me this one just this last week. And I went ahead and sanded it down, took the seasoning off, and then went ahead and re-seasoned it with cheap canola oil and uh, I'm using it now so I'll have it it's bigger I think it's I haven't measured it it's over 30 inches so maybe 36 30 36 inches I'll have to measure it but it has four burners where my other one only had two so definitely an upgrade and I'll still use the other one I have a big feast I could use both so let's just continue I'm gonna add a little more canola oil to this there we go. You can use olive oil. Sometimes I use avocado oil. Let these tenderize just a little bit. And I'm just going to let them set and just cook a couple of minutes, and then we'll turn them, and then we'll cook a couple more minutes, and then we'll go ahead and start the rest of the process of getting these fajitas ready to go. I'm actually going to spend about two minutes and I'm going to move this over and we're going to get the chicken started now on this side. Had it covered over here. Let's go ahead and throw, I basically just cut up a chicken breast. It's one pound. We're going to add a little bit of fajita seasoning on top. Any fajita seasoning will do. That's a probably what a couple, a couple tablespoons. And then I got a couple tablespoons. That's probably about one tablespoon actually of some minced garlic. To throw in here. Oh yeah, that garlic's starting to really add a little bit of niceness to it. I gotta say, I really enjoy this bigger one. Uh, I've only had it for a very short time, but I can tell a big difference compared to my small one. Uh, and I got four zones now instead of two so I can I could always have one burner off and still three on and I can get the chicken on one side for a little bit and get this one on veggies on that side it's, it's definitely an increase in size no doubt about it Ooh, almost lost that one add a little uh, canola oil under there Because this one's just been seasoned, so it may not be quite to its maturity, or it, it isn't yet. It's going to take a few cooks on here. This is the second cook I've done on this one. I didn't film the first one. That, the first cook was just, I seasoned it, 
and then threw a pack of bacon on and just did a messy cook because that's how I like to break them in. That's the best way to really get them seasoned. So I'm going to let that cook a little bit there. If you're new to this channel, this is uh, the Oki Smoking Channel because I do love smoking meat, veggies, all kinds of things outside, but I also just like cooking outside in general. So we got a lot of Blackstone content that I'll be creating as well as some pit barrel. Uh, when I'm smoking the pit barrel, I also got a Weber. So outdoors cooking also for the holidays coming up. I'll be cooking outside, cooking out here. The best place to cook in my opinion. Those are starting to get nice and translucent. Chicken's starting to cook nicely. We'll merge the two together here in just a little bit. And it's gonna all come together. Might turn the burner up just a little bit on the chicken. Once we get this merged together, we're going to put the tortillas and build it all right here on this flat top grill. Let's go ahead and do it. Let's merge them. There we go. let those cook on that side and I'm going to clear this side up just a little bit for the tortillas so get my scraper just pretty much come right off stuff that got stuck on there able to put our uh, tortillas, got some flour tortillas right on here in just a moment. Since this is a new griddle, this is how I really like to break it into. Uh, just a nice and messy cook. Uh, try not to cook anything too fragile for the first few cooks at least. You know, an egg or a pancake or something. I, I like to get this broke in with some messier kind of style foods that helps get this seasoned helps the non-stick get better and then you can start tackling eggs pancakes and that type of thing you, you can early on it's just how I like to do it because it seems to really get it to where more fragile style foods it handles better Place two tortillas right there. Keep that on eh, medium, medium low. While that meat and stuff continues cooking, we're gonna go ahead and add some cheese. Use whatever kind of cheese you want here. Now we're just gonna go ahead and take some of this and lay right on top of that cheese. Oh, look at that. Get up in there. Get on there. Okay. Okay, I know we're not done. We need more cheese. Turn the burner down to low. Make sure we don't burn that tortilla. Nice and brown. Let's just flip that over. Flip this one over.
Might have could have used a little more filling in that one. Oh well. Just let that cheese melt. Go ahead and flip it. Look at that. Now, so what I have here is some Hatch green chili. I'm going to add this. This is hot. Put some of this right in there. You can add sour cream, whatever you want. A salsa. amazing quick easy and that's a chicken quesadilla on the blackstone griddle see you guys in the next video